This is a Dr. Zhang from New Hope Fertility Center. You come to my favorite time to share my thought with my dear friends and patients. Today, we are going to discuss or talk about an old subject, the number of eggs to produce, the quality of the eggs, and how many eggs we need to make one healthy live birth. We always been told that IVF in vitro fertilization is a game of number. So we always believe that we need to get lots of eggs to have the best chance of a baby. It is true to a certain extent. When the lady is 35 years or younger, and uh, we would have to freeze lots of eggs for the future, we want to have uh, five or six babies, then we can do heavy stimulation. However, in majority of the time, we really only allow, we can't produce one good at a time, regardless how many eggs we can produce every month, which is determined by how much drugs you get and how old are you and what your ovarian reserve is. This is a picture to show the world's first IVF baby. And this is a two famous doctor, one is Bob Edwards, who, with a steptoe, made the world's first baby. This is a baby born with a natural cycle idea, without taking any drugs. And this happened in 1990, 1978. That's the baby, absolutely healthy. And so, why in the world the first baby was born naturally, without taking any drugs, with the one single one? Why now we are talking about the game of success of IVF is making lots of eggs? I think we probably overlook into the number and maybe underlook at the quality. Every month, a lady naturally produces one egg at a time. So if we produce more eggs, more or less can compromise the quality of the eggs. So it's a balance of the quality and the quantity. So it is not always making more eggs is a prop, a prop idea and give the best chance. Secondly, when the lady reach 39 years old or older, definitely every month, regardless of how many eggs may produce, always going to produce one, sometimes very occasionally two good quality eggs. So in this case, Pursue the quality is more important than the quantity. Also, when you take more injections, more eggs, over it takes a long time to recover. In the end, not necessary, will save time. So, I will say we do need to have a batteries of different IVF protocols natural cycle IVF without taking any drugs, ultra minimal stimulation IVF cycle only taking pills. Minimum stimulation IVF cycles, taking pills and injections, and conventional IVF, get a heavy daily injection. It depends on the patient's age, it depends on the patient's organic reserve, it depends on the patient have done any conventional IVF with good results or poor results. It all will affect the determination or choose new protocol with less medications. I will stop here. If you have any questions, and uh, you are welcome to send questions to me, or if you are doing IVF cycles at this moment, and you have some questions you really want to answer, just send an email to us. Take care. Bye.